There are no limits. There are only plateaus, and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. Bruce Lee, my friends, you will learn that the longer and longer you are in the market, practice trading, and then, of course, once you pass that level and you go to the level of real trading, you will find yourself continuing to go up, plateauing, but don't be accepting of staying at a certain level. Always strive to move higher and higher and higher, as Bruce Lee tells us. We have to keep pushing beyond them, and it is fun. That's the one thing I want to make sure you are doing is loving what you're doing. If you're not in this for the love of it, if everything is focused just on the money, I don't know. That's just not what I like. The reason I do this each and every day, bring you these programs for free every single day is because I really do love this. I really do find this fascinating. It is, it's just incredible. And with the way it was when I first started and how hard it was to get the, the technology, how expensive it was. You can do this on your laptop now. You can do this on an inexpensive machine. Things like TradingView just cost a few dollars a month. There's nothing insane about it. I paid hundreds of dollars a month for these services that half the time the computer was jamming up and I wasn't getting real-time data. It just was trying, and then trying to do trades online or having to call brokers. What a nightmare and how expensive it was to do trades. Now, it's just amazing. So please, stick with it. You can do this. Now, let's jump into these charts and see where they are. Look at the end of the day. Super high volume, lots of indecision as the market sort of rolled over there. At the end of the day, we see the S&P 500 down 0.61%. Look at the volume on the weekly chart and look where we are with this doji and look where we were last week and the week before as we had all this volume as price was settling down and then turning around. Let's pay real close attention as to what may be happening here. Maybe shaking out some folks thinking the market's going to move up. Let's pay close attention as to what goes on tomorrow. Just this pullback on Thursday may be hiding, maybe trying to scare people from jumping into an up move tomorrow. So pay close attention as to what's going on with price, what's going on with volume. You've got four days of nice strong movement on the two-day chart, breaking that weekly trend line. As we look at the weekly chart and zoom in, you can see we have a green spinning top, almost a doji, lots of indecision, but look at the volume on Thursday. Now again, things could really tank tomorrow. Things could rotate back down, heading down. We'll see. We'll pay close attention and see which way the market's going to head. Now, when you see green spinning tops, how many times have you said a, seen a green spinning top at the end of a down move where it moved down again? Let's just look back in time. Do you see that? Do you see that? I'm looking. I'm not seeing. Are you? Not seeing. Now, again, I'm talking at the end of a down move when things now this could the color could change on this tomorrow and it could get slippery on us. It could go red if there's a strong down move tomorrow, but it could be portending an up move to rock it back up again. So we'll wait. We'll watch. We'll see. And again, we'll use our experience of the past to help us try to see the future. OK, let's leave the S&P 500, go to the NASDAQ 100. Um, and what do we see here? It pulled back less than the S&P, 0.35%. Got a much more decent green candle there. This is the third green candle on the two-day chart having pushed through. Many, you can see, again, high volume at the end of the day. It was green volume. You can see that you've got a doji there too, but not rocketing down as much. So we'll be looking at the, S, uh, the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500 to see if we have the potential for going long tomorrow. Be a learning experience. Now, 
Let's look at bonds. Boy, they rolled back over, did they not? We talked about how they were sitting there. And look at this. We talked about how we had edged right up on it. This is the weekly trend line on the half day and on the two day. And then rolling over hard down 2.71%. Look at all this volume this week and last. Now, could it be looking for a bottom here as we're in about the same area with all this volume? Well, let's pay attention. See what there is to see and whether or not this down move is going to continue or this is, this is showing us that this down move has ended and bonds are about to rally. We'll see. Now, let's move on to gold. Gold down. Everything is down for the day. Gold down a little bit, 0.30%. Again, see where gold is pushed up. But again, you know, we can see on the half day where it just stalled and moved down at the end of the day. So we will keep an eye on gold and see just where it might be going at the end of the week if that down move is going to continue. Bitcoin, it's down the least of the day, 0.61%. But you can see where on that weekly chart, it's a dying on the vine right there. You know, we had it pop up that first week beginning the 18th of September and then really bled off a lot of energy popping up that uh, first week of October. And then, of course, this week we got a red spinning top. So Bitcoin not telling us a whole lot. Now, do want to remind Patreon members you have at the Patreon channel already the Charting Cryptos, Commodities, and Currencies and our three-wave trades. And we are going through the S&P 500 looking for weekly vertical crossovers, which is when the Heiken Ashi candlestick goes from green to red or red to green. And then we go through and we look at volume patterns and we try to find you some candidates for you to explore and see if they work for you for potential practice trades. If you're a Patreon member, you get those every week. We try to get up to 20 every week. Sometimes they're 20 decent ones. Sometimes they're not. But again, just again, another benefit you get as a Patreon member. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.